हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस यूलर सिक्वेशन ऑफ रिजिड बॉडी मोशन लेट्स वेगेन वी नो द फंडामेंटल इक्वेशन ऑफ रोटेशनल मोशन ऑफ ए रिजिड बॉडी इज गिवेन बाय द फंडामेंटल इक्वेशन दैट इज टाओ इज इक्वल टू डी एल बाय डी टी हुआर tau the net applied torque and l is the angular momentum this equation 1 represents uh, the newton's uh, second law in a rotational body which states that the change of angular momentum that is dl by dt the change of angular momentum of a body is equal to the net torque acting on the body that is tau is equal to dl by dt the net change of angular momentum of a body is equal to the net torque applied on that of body so the equation 1 holds for a fixed inertial frame this equation is valid for a fixed inertial frame but in a coordinate system rotating with the rigid body that's why the equation 1 needs some modification this is valid for we can say this equation is valid for fixed inertial frame but when we take a rotational frame that equation needs some modification that's why for that of rotational frame we can write for that of rotational frame it will be changed to da by dt that is fixed is equal to da by dt rotational plus omega cross a this is the standard equation for that of rotational frame of a vector let a vector where we can say a vector is any vector in that of fixed coordinate system and omega is angular velocity of that of rotating frame that's why that uh, standard operator for that of rotational frame we can say that is d by dt of fixed is equal to d by dt of rotational plus omega cross a vector which may be there this one is the standard used for that of rotational frame this one is uh, the relation between that of time derivatives of a vector with respect to the fixed rotating frame of reference as a result the transformation of equation 1 is modified as we can write dl by dt 
dl by dt of fixed is equal to dl by dt of rotational plus omega cross l let equation number 4 then the equation of motion in rotating frame is given by that is tau is equal to dl by dt rotating plus omega cross l that is the standard form that is fixed is equal to rota rotational frame omega cross l that is equation number 5 if the Cartesian axis in the rotating frame lie along the principal axis. along the principal axis, principal axis as led to 1, 2 and 3, then that L vector we can write as I 1 omega 1 I cap plus I 2 omega 2 J cap plus I 3 omega 3 k cap as we know l is equal to i omega that is the angular momentum is equal to moment of inertia into angular velocity that is why this can be written as where omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 are the components of angular velocity vector along principal axis therefore differentiating this with respect to t that is d l by d t over that of rotation we can find out that is i 1 d omega 1 by d t i cap plus i 2 d omega 2 by d t j cap plus i 3 d omega 3 by d t k gap then the component along axis 1 we have to calculate the component along axis 1, axis 2 and axis 3. These components are nothing the Euler's equation of rigid body motion. That is why the components along axis 1 is let that is let tau 1. Tau 1 that of form of tau vector of i cap which implies the tau 1 will be tau vector. Tau vector we say it as tau vector look here tau vector is equal to dl by dt rotational plus omega cross l that is why we find out dl by dt rotational value of this 
that's why we prefer look here d omega 1 by dt i1 omega 1 dot i cap plus i2 omega 2 dot j cap plus i3 omega 3 dot k cap this is the result of dl by dt of rotational that's why in place of the component 1 we can write i1 omega 1 dot i cap plus i2 omega 2 dot j cap plus i3 omega 3 dot k cap first dot means first dot differentiation plus the equation plus omega cross l that is omega cross l since we find the component along axis 1 that is tau dot i cap dot i cap now we simplify this here look here this dot product with i cap only i cap term exists another these two terms are zero that's why i1 omega 1 dot i cap dot i cap that is one only result will be this plus omega cross l dot i cap now we find out the value of omega cross l dot i cap here 1 omega 1 dot plus omega cross l that will be i cap j cap k cap in place of omega omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 l we know l as i 1 omega 1 i 2 omega 2 i 3 omega 3 determinant this is a dot product with what i cap is equal to look here since this determinant is dot product with i cap that's when we evaluate the determinant in terms of i cap j cap k cap only i cap terms are exist the j cap and k cap terms are vanishes that's why we prefer i1 omega 1 dot plus we expand it in terms of only i cap only i i cap terms are exist that's why ith row ith column that is i3 omega 2 omega 3 minus i2 omega 2 omega 3 This is I two. Is equal to I one omega one dot plus taking omega two omega three as common. Omega two omega three as common. We find out that is I three minus I two. What is this? this one is tau 1 let me prefer this as equation number 6 similarly for that of tau 2 tau 2 is that of the component along axis 2 that is tau 2 and the component along axis 3 that is tau 3 that's why tau 2 is equal to omega 2 omega 2 dot plus omega 1 
omega 3 as common i 1 minus i 3 equation number 7 and tau 3 is equal to i 3 omega 3 dot plus omega 2 sorry omega 1 omega 2 i 2 minus i 1 i 3 minus i 2 i 1 minus i 3 i 2 minus i 1 correct that is equation number 8 these three equations that is equation equation 7 8 and 9 are known as Euler's equation these equations are known as Euler's equation of rigid body motion so with the help of this video lecture we understand how to find out the Euler's equation of rigid body motion that's why we prefer the fundamental equation of rotational motion of that of rigid body then for that of what is that equation in terms of fixed inertial frame and rotational frame we consider for that of rotational frame then mathematical treat and proceed as and taking the component along one axis that is tau dot i cap tau dot i cap then we simplify by using vector rules and finally find out tau 1 similarly tau, tau 2 and tau 3 these three are nothing but the Euler's equation of rigid body motion that's why with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you